this wasn't actually a sports story. This is a story of politics and governance. My antenna was going, there's something wrong here. This is something they'd rather us not to dig into, not to expose. It brought a situation that a lot of people have had suspicions about into a wider audience. This particular raft of stories began, I suppose, on March 1st for us. There was a tip-off lying on my desk telling me about a circular transaction of 100,000 euro with the FAI between John Delaney, the chief executive, and the Football Association. I decided straight away I needed to go to the FAI, go to John Delaney, ask him about this, and we were told effectively there's no story here. Drop it. Things escalated surprisingly for us. On uh, March 16th, our lawyer rings and said, they're going to go to the High Court. We arrive up in the, the court and we see there's John Delaney dressed in his suit with his team of lawyers ready to go. Just before half nine, the judge finally got to the part where he was explaining his decision and I'll never forget that he said, you know, transactions of the type we'd investigated between the Football Association of Ireland and its chief executive are matters of significant public interest. And that questions in relation to his former role as CEO. I thought the committee worked very well in marshalling the questions, but it was an incredibly frustrating experience because you have somebody sitting there at the table with a lawyer behind them who is the principal uh, you know, subject of this story, more or less taking the Fifth Amendment and, and really being non-committal about everything. There would have been you know, rumours and, and stories and anecdotal evidence going around the grapevine about injunctions coming in place and about stories that people would think were about to run and then they would suddenly disappear. And I suppose what happened with that initial story about the, the 100k loan when the Sunday Times and Mark Tig actually got them into the public domain was that that culture of America was sort of blown wide open and you know people started you know feeling more able to ask questions and this story breaking gave us the opportunity to put our points across and to get more of a, a fair hearing. It's been heartening as a journalist to see stories have such an immediate impact. A Sport Ireland FAI review was passed with 78 separate governance uh, reforms in the FAI at their AGM in July. We'll see independent board members and independent chairman of the FAI. It's fantastic to see that new level of accountability is going to be put in place. It's an essential part of our democracy that we have a healthy journalism that is inquiring. Mark Ty would be one of the first people to say that he was backed by his newspaper. He was backed to go to court. That took courage, but I think that that shows that courage is rewarded. It's a long road and we're only at the start of it, but I mean, this is an opportunity to basically recast the game for the next generation to come. And this opportunity has arisen because of the work that went into these reports and the work that Mark did.